Hello, welcome back to our channel. In the previous yes. video, we have discussed about what is CFC, what is CFC editor, what is FP, and what are the interconnection possibilities of the FB. In today's video, we'll be discussing about what is organization block OB, what is runtime group, what is run sequence, and what are those optimization techniques of the run sequence. So let's get dive in. So our first point: what is OB, and what is runtime group. So uh, in TCS 7, the CFC editor will be working like this, following RPO. So initially, it will read in all the field its signal from the I/O cards, and it will execute in the FB. So this FB will be executed according to the OB callings, and it will process the outputs to cards or memory area. So what is this OB calling? So in our CPU. There be different set of OBs, organization blocks. So they have their predefined use cases, and there will be the uh, predefined sampling times for these OBs, which can be configured in properties of the CPU. So departly, there will be already pre-configured sampling times. So as you can see, OB hundred to one hundred one are declared for startup and restart. So when you have an operation that need to be executed only when a restart of the CPU, startup of the CPU, then you can write those logic in CFC and you can add those function blocks into OB calling of 100 and 101. There are different uh, error OB callings also, redundancy, asynchronous and synchronous errors. So if you want those to be configured, we will write a CFC logic using FPS and then we will call in these OB cycles. And we have processing algorithms of OB40 to 47 and interrupts of uh, OB30 to 13. Generally, our CFC logic will be uh, imported into OB35 or it depends on the OB31 uh, based on the FD. So you can move these uh, FDs to required OB calling cycle. We have time and delay alarms at OB. 10 to 17 and OB 20 to 23 respectively. So OB is nothing but a predefined sampling cycle. So whenever we uh, copy those FBs into, I mean, we will call those FBs into corresponding OBs, they will be executed with the corresponding sampling times. So how it is going to happen, we will see in the next slide. So as you can see, this is the uh, run sequence or runtime editor. So as I told, all the OBs are already organized with the corresponding descriptions. And you can observe what is the sampling time of every OB. So this is the runtime, I mean sampling time. So every OB will be called with a specific time interval. So if you add a block in this OBs through runtime groups, it will be called at every two seconds. This OB that you want. If you uh, drag those uh, OBs, I mean uh, that FBs into this OB runtime groups, it will be called for every hundred milliseconds like this. So this is called uh, runtime groups. So every runtime group will be holding uh, various FP block, and this runtime group will be called according to the drop OB. So here uh, it will be called for every two seconds. That's how this whole thing works. So what is run sequence and its optimization technique? So uh, run sequence is nothing but how our uh, blocks are executed in runtime. So uh, as you can see here, uh, I have uh, four blocks or blocks which were uh, declared in OB thirty one. So under this uh, OB31 sampling time execution cycle, these blocks were placed. And there will be one runtime group. Under the runtime group, all these blocks will be there. So uh, as you can see, our blocks will be executed from left to right. But the placement of these blocks in run sequence was in reverse. 1, 2, 3, 4. So to get the result of uh, this block, it will take consume 4 OB31 cycles until it the result at the uh, last end will be updated. So this is uh, undesirable. So that's why it is uh, represented with a dead time symbol. This mark can be kept, uh, this mark is the resultant of a dead time. So to optimize that uh, run sequence, this is the desired run sequence. So if you organize the blocks accordingly, in one single OB call itself, we will get answer will be updated at the last block. So what is predecessor of insertion? So whenever a block is placed it will be the initial block will be turned into green color so this indication is the current insertion point so whenever you place a block uh, to it so it automatically the number will be incremented where the i mean in chart uh, the number will be incremented not the runtime group the chart number will be incremented so uh, we can uh, modify the predecessor of insertion by directly right clicking on a corresponding fb block and we can modify the predecessor of insertion 
So how we can change the run sequence? How we can optimize our logic? So there are uh, three methods through which we can optimize the run sequence. First one we will be discussing about in chart. So in CFC chart editor, there is a option called avoid implicit dead times. So if you check this block and if you import uh, the required FB blocks, it will automatically calculate the dead time. I mean, it will automatically reduce the dead time and gives the optimal run sequence. So if you haven't clicked this one, second uh, method was like manual configuration in runtime editor. So you can navigate uh, to runtime editor by clicking on this icon. So we will be uh, navigating to corresponding OB cycle runtime group. Here you can see OB35, which is the uh, 100 milliseconds execution time. Under this, we have a runtime group called uh, change order. So here you can see chart name itself will be the runtime group name. Under the runtime group, we have four blocks. So these four blocks can be reorganized by dragging and dropping. So based on that, uh, the CFC editor will also get changed. Here by manual uh, dragging and dropping, you can change the run sequence. And you can also drag and drop this block to other OB so that the OB calling cycles will be modified. And the third optimization technique is like uh, an automatic optimization technique in uh, runtime editor itself. So you can navigate to options, you can select one OB cycle and you can click on optimize run sequence. So it will automatically reorder the uh, blocks to get optimized uh, run sequence. So these three are the techniques to optimize our uh, CFC logic. And there you have it guys, how we can use uh, OBs and uh, what is uh, runtime group and how we can optimize the runtime sequence using three optimization techniques. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on industrial automation. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in your next video. Goodbye.